There is a great scene in one of the Columbo movies, where the super genius criminal asks the lieutenant, how is it that you caught me? I am a super genius, and you are a bumbling fool. The detective goes on to explain that he is a professional at what he does, and that the super genius is an amateur criminal, and that the amateur criminal always leaves things that the trained eye can find. While not so relevant to today's story, Columbo went on to explain that time was on his side, and always worked against the criminal. Once a crime has been committed, or a clue left, it cannot be uncommitted. The trained mind is just what today's tale is about. It was on May 17, in 1809, that an Austrian physician retired for the last time. Joseph Auenbrugger is the fellow who promoted and popularized thumping on patients to observe the response. Perhaps he picked it up from someone else, but history does not record just who that person was. The doctor became rather good at thumping different parts of the body to listen or see the patient's response. Perhaps he discovered this technique while helping his father when he was a boy. His father had been a vintner, and even today winemakers will tap on the side of the barrel to hear how full it is. Auenbrugger became rather good at diagnosing the condition of the patient's heart and lungs by the echo. He could tell a great deal by how quickly the skin tones changed after he had pressed on the skin or the fingernails. Looking at the reflex actions by striking the patient's knee was also a great indicator. This was back when the doctors used their senses to evaluate the patient. They tasted urine, smelled the breath and stool, and checked the viscosity of the phlegm. Auenbrugger published his findings in Latin, and they just did not seem to catch on, because he did not say things in a way that people were listening. After his death, his books were translated. Today Auenbrugger is known as one of the founders of modern medicine, or the percussion doctor. His work is still in use today, as a fundamental diagnostic procedure. His work also paved the way for what technicians call non-destructive evaluation. You know, you thump on the wall to find the stud, so that you can hang the picture, or you thump on the melon to see if it's the one to purchase. Encourage observations.